Am I the asshole? For refusing to give back wedding gifts to my mill after my husband passed. My husband passed away about three years ago. We were together for nine years, married for four years at the time of his passing. He never had a great relationship with his parents and he was very vocal about that to all of our friends. My husband I kept our finances very private and did not share much with his parents as my husband did not want them to be involved. His parents are decently well off and can provide for themselves. We would openly share finances with my parents during the term of our marriage, we have taken financial help from my parents when needed, but we have never asked his parents to help us out at any time. My husband and I also had a home that we purchased together while we were engaged. I had some legal issues his parents did have to sign a document as we did not have a living will. They hesitated his mom kept making snarky comments about the car I drive and shoes I buy. It was resolved eventually but I think the process just gave me a bitter feeling. His parents waited to see if their names were listed as beneficiary for any accounts we had after it was confirmed that they were not they stopped contacting me. Last time they spoke to me was two years ago. I have started to see someone new over the past year they are clearly not happy. It's become a why should she have anything from our son mentality. I also lost my mom about six months ago. A few weeks ago his parents called demanded I give them all the wedding jewelry back that was received for our 2017 wedding as it is not mine and belongs to his mom. Nothing given from any guests or his parents during the wedding was family heirlooms or passed down jewelry that would have sentimental value. They were just gifts from those who attended our wedding. They did not even show up to my mother's funeral or call me. They are also claiming that the home we had isn't even mine as their son put the down payment. Untrue as my parents had helped us put a large amount of the down payment for that home but my husband never shared that with his parents since we never wanted to make rub it in their faces. They also think that their son funded everything and our entire lifestyle which is another lie as we had built our life with money that was made by both of us, not just him. In my perspective I was married to their son, we both worked, built a life together and any gifts given to me during my wedding or things purchased between money that their son I made is not theirs. His mother has been harassing and calling my family it has been non-stop comments to the point where she questioned my upbringing that my deceased mother gave me. All my family members think they are disgusting to do this to their son's widow, but it also gets awkward as we are trying to be mindful that they lost their son. My heart still goes out to them for their loss as I can imagine they are also grieving but I am just confused. Time to go no CO not the asshole CT. No kids for old mill to claim, so she has no claim on your life. There is now no reason to stay in contact. If their love for you does not continue because their son died then you would not be in the wrong to cut these people out of your life. You owe them nothing. Not the asshole good grief your in-laws sound like a nightmare. I would get in touch with a lawyer to see if you can get a restraining order on them. I'm sorry for your loss and I hope this gets resolved quickly. Not the asshole. But why are the lines of communications still open? Block them expeditiously. Plenty of people lose their children and manage to not be assholes. You don't have to be their emotional punching bag. Not the asshole. Send a cease desist. If they break that, lawyer up for harassment. Go full North Carolina. Not the asshole look at finding a lawyer. Not the asshole for sure. Block them, call the police for harassment if they insist. It's time to cut the cord with those R. Not the asshole. Your husband couldn't stand his parents and kept them at a distance I would even go as far as saying giving them anything would be a slap in his face. Respect his wishes. Not the asshole, but I'm afraid you're being far too kind and generous to the in-laws. These people are total psychopaths and must be blocked and discontinue harassing you. You owe them nothing obviously and I would send a registered letter advising them to cease and desist contact ASAP. Sorry this all happened protect yourself these people are maniacs. Not the asshole. They are acting disgusting. They may still be grieving, 
But now they are just being hateful to you. Block them on all channels. See a lawyer if you want to be sure everything financial is clear of them, and go on and live your life in peace. So sorry for both your losses. Not the asshole ignorant block would be the best and easiest way forward here for you and then if they persist a cease and desist letter from a lawyer usually works wonders. Not the asshole for sure. Block them, call the police for harassment if they insist. It's time to cut the cord with those R. Not the asshole. When a married couple purchase things, it is both of theirs, end of discussion. If one member of the couple passes too soon without a will, it is the surviving spouse's and any children's property. His parents are out of their minds, block them, never talk to them again, problem solved. Not the asshole time to put a stop to this. Is there anyone whose opinion they respect you can speak with? Or is it time for a lawyer? Their escalation even now three years later should alarm you. No contact. Have an attorney write a cease and desist letter. And, return nothing. Not the asshole, I would tell them to fuck off and never speak to them again. Stop contact immediately. Seems like you might need to talk to a lawyer. Not the asshole get an order of protection to prevent further communication. Not the asshole. A gift given to you is yours. No one else has control over it. It sounds like you have no reason to ever speak to them again. Ghost them and do your best to move forward. Not the asshole I am so very sorry for your losses, and gore the awful behavior you are dealing with. Make sure the lawyer says in the cease desist. 1. That going forward, he will only respond to queries from a licensed practicing active attorney no retired friend lawyer doing them a favor. 2. They are to not contact you for any reason, only your attorney. 3. You intend to recover from them all legal fees from dealing with their baseless demands. Not the asshole. They are grieving they are predominantly greeting. Not the asshole. Not the asshole tell them to not contact you ever again. Not the asshole. Contact local law enforcement and find out what constitutes legal harassment, then notify the ex-in-laws that you will file charges if they contact you, your family, or anyone else in your life again. Give them nothing, except maybe a certified letter stating the above. Not the asshole. Nasty, small people. Not the asshole your stuff is your stuff. I just block them and not deal with them anymore. They try to force it, tell them to have their attorney contact you. Not the asshole. The time has passed for you play nice. It's now time to file a police report for all the harassment and speak to a lawyer about a restraining order. Not the asshole. Um his parents aren't grieving they're greedy. Your PILs have not only lost their son, they have lost their ever-loving minds. Block them on all media after informing them that they are long overdue for therapy. Tell them to go shit in a hat.